Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. It's so good to be back. It's good to have you back. Oh, what a what a day. What a time. What a life. Oh, uh, welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, a couple of you are here early, and I always appreciate that. So thank you in advance for interacting with this video. I know yeah, I can count on y'all. Uh, let me know who's here. I'm excited to see you again. Thank you for giving me two weeks off. Uh, I know you didn't have any input in it, but, uh, you know, I still appreciate it. You were all patient, and you're you're back, some of you, uh, which, is, which is great. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's see. It is time for us to go ahead and get started. So, uh, oh, oh, uh, sorry, just a second. Um, hi, uh, past, right? Uh, yeah, uh, present and future are just over there. Oh. This is tense. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, another time. Ooh, okay. Uh, well, uh, you know, you, sometimes you win some and sometimes you lose some. Uh, <laughs> anyway, welcome to the bar, everyone. My name is Ansel Birch, the Indecisionist, and I will be your dungeon barkeep today. It is Fabulous to have you all back, and we are going to make a brand new nerdy cocktail today using the roll of some gaming dice and my unending willingness to try anything once. Uh, and tell you what, I will drink whatever I make, even if it looks pretty awful. And today, there is a decent chance of that, because today is my tribute to Fernet. That's right, Fernet. You may have never heard of it. Um, I don't know. Some people haven't. Uh, Fernet is a digestive, or digestif, uh, or however it's supposed to be said. Uh, it is from the Czech Republic, and it is a very, very strong flavor. It is going to be replacing the beloved Saucy Wench Bloody Mary mix uh, once that runs out. Uh, I have about enough for, like, one more cocktail. Uh, so this is going to be what eventually takes that place. Uh, unless I get more Bloody Mary mix, at which point this will just go in the mix somewhere else and replace something else. But it's definitely going to be added to the mix soon, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a, um, a preview of it. I'm not going to do a one-shot of this one. Um, well, actually, I might still do a one-shot of this one, but... I was so excited about it that I wanted to feature it today, and so that is that is what we're going to do. Today, whatever else happens, there's going to be Fernet in the mix. That's going to happen. Um, aw, Patty Smith, you say you never left? I'm so, uh, I mean, I'm honored, but get a sandwich. Uh, although we don't serve sandwiches here. Not after the incident. What we do do, however, uh, since I'm not a professional mixologist, I have no idea what I'm doing, just like anybody slinging shots this side of the goblin caves. I, uh, you know, I'm making it up as I go along, but to help me make it up as I go along like any good nerd, I have a set of gaming dice. Those gaming dice are gonna are going to decide every single thing that goes into these cocktails, and uh, yeah, so all that being said, I think it's time for us to go ahead and get started with our first roll of the night. Buckle in, friends. All right, first roll of the night is going to be a D4. This is going to choose an essential um, mixer. Do, do, do. All right, got a one on that list, so we're going to put triple sec in here. That's going to be good. Uh, now I have a D6. This is going to pick a garnish. All right. Uh, six on the garnish chart, so bitters. All right, so triple sec and bitters with Fernet. Uh, yep, uh, I got myself into this mess. <laughs> All right, uh, next up is going to be a D8. This will pick a less essential mixer. Um, this is where the um, where the Fernet is eventually going to end up, probably uh, in the number seven slot, although I might also replace one of the sodas with it. Uh, all right, so six, so soda water. Ah, all right, soda water. Um, as I discussed her, uh, two, three weeks ago, um, I am actually planning to do sort of a soda water taste test. So keep an eye on the channel for that. That'll be that won't be a live thing. That'll happen uh, as an edited video that I do on purpose with you know actual time. Uh, those take forever, so I don't do them very often. But I'm gonna try and do more of them coming up. 
Next is a D10. This is going to choose a liquor for our drink. All right, so here's a D10. Four. All right, so abs. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, this took a turn just there. That is. That right there is where this took a turn. Okay. Absinthe, Fernet, Triple Sec, and Soda Water. Yep. Okay. Here we are. Are you not entertained? Uh, all right. Now we've got a D12 to choose a bar term for our mildly educational section of the show. Uh, I don't have the uh, camera up, so I'll roll here and let you see the four. And then four on that is dirty. Uh, dirty is usually when you add uh, the juice of whatever you're putting into your drink. Uh, so if it's like bar cherries, you can put a little bit of that cherry, ju cherry juice. Um, or uh, more frequently, it's olives, and you put a little olive brine in there, and that uh, that brininess counteracts some of the sweetness in, say, vermouth. Um, so that is that is dirty. I don't, I don't think there's going to be any any reasonable way to make this dirty. This is already off to a pretty pretty rough start. But you know, I'll keep an eye open. What do you know? Who it could happen. Um, <laughs> Patty Smith says that mustache won't protect you from this. You are so right. Also, uh, yo, inked out Viking chick. Um, all right, so it is time. The time is upon us to choose the star of the show, the final die roll of this madness, uh, which is to pick a name. And as usual, I have a new list of 20 names here, uh, and these all come from suggestions given to me online. So have a chance, have a take, uh, have a look at that list. There. If you'd like to suggest other names like these ones to go on the list, uh, you can do that at indecisionist.com slash dungeon barkeep, and there is a link in the doobly-doo. All right, so there's our D20. That is an 8, which on today's list is the Mimic. It's kind of appropriate that, that we got Mimic for something that is going to look like a real cocktail and have things that real cocktails have in them. Uh, but I suspect this is this is not going to be a real cocktail. But there's only one way to find out, so let's head over to the bar top cam and take a look. All right, so here we are on the bar top cam, and I am going to start us off with a jigger. There we go. That's going to be a good place to start. Uh, I don't see any reason to shake what we're doing today. So I am going to go ahead and build this in a mixing tin uh, without shaking. So we'll go ahead and start with a few D6 of cold damage. And then the star of the show, Bernay. Ooh. Uh, let's see. This might be the saving grace of this whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do a heavy heavier amount than you would usually do in a cocktail. I'm going to give this three quarters of an ounce of Fernet. Uh, and that was very cute to turn that around so you could see it, but now I can't see it, so. All right, so three quarters of an ounce of Fernet. That is a lot. This is a strong flavor, but it's got to, it's got to play with the absinthe. And, you know, that's, uh, that's a tall order. That is a tall, tall order. All right. Triple sec. Uh, okay, the triple sec is going to be the only real sweetness in this cocktail. So... Yeah, let's do a whole ounce. Uh, Ink dot Viking Chick asks if I ever added Malort. Uh, no, we still haven't gotten to 500 subscribers. Um, the subscriber... Uh, thing has sort of dropped off precipitously and uh, I'm still hopeful that I'll get a rise back up when I start doing more edited uh, material since that seems to attract people um, but we will see we will see that is that is something that I'm still in the consideration phases of uh, so thank you for asking okay so that's the triple sec absent 
All right, got my Pernod Absinthe. This is a very Euro drink, aside from the triple sec, which is going to throw us all the way off. Um, absinthe you want to do in light amounts, both because it is potent and because it is uh, powerful in flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a half. That's a quarter. Okay, we're going to do a quarter ounce of absinthe to start the... Uh, Fernet is already alcoholic. The absinthe is alcoholic, so we're not we're not pouring light on this one, even though it may seem it. All right. Am I forgetting anything? I've got my essentials, my garnish, my mixer, my liquor. Okay, I think that's everything. Um, obviously the soda water will come last, so all we have to do now is give it a stir. Um, and apparently I left my stir spoon, my bar spoon, probably in the washing up. All right. So that is stirred. It is chilled. The outside of the tin is nice and chilled, so that's a good sign. This is a fancy drink. Absinthe and Fernet says fancy to me. So we're going to serve it in a coupe. You may have noticed I really like coupes. And um, yeah, I don't know. I, I do. That is that is just a fact. All right. So it's kind of perfect. Short pour there. And now we'll top it with this is uh, sparkling seltzer water. Um, as previously mentioned, there is some some disagreement about the differences between sparkling mineral water, club soda, sparkling water, uh, seltzer. And I'm going to try and get to the bottom of that eventually. But there, for now, is our drink. So let's go back up to the other camera and see how we like it. All right. Um, Psycho Pyro just asked uh, if the triple sec is in. Yes, the triple sec went in. So triple sec, absinthe, fernet, and now seltzer water. So let's let's give this a try. Okay. I'm going to say this. It's um it's not good, but it's better than it could be. Um <clears throat> wow, wow. There's just a lot going on here. Um triple sec is an aggressive citrus orange liqueur. Um Fernet has a like woody uh um um herbal that's the word i wanted it's got like an herbal cast to it um and that is working with the absinthe the absinthe is actually taking a back seat which is if if you try making cocktails with absinthe you'll know um uh, that's a feat getting getting anything that will fight absinthe and and do okay is impressive Um, I think <clears throat> if I'm going to look for an upside here, uh, the upside is that I have just learned something. Uh, I think that Fernet and Absinthe might have a future together. Uh, I ship this. Um, the triple sec though? Nah. Um, no, no, I don't, I don't think that needed to happen. I don't think that needed to be there. Um, I also think that the seltzer water, um, it's just not bringing anything to the party. <laughs> ha 
Patty Smith says, I'll find out how bad it is when in a couple hours it reappears on my mustache. Um, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, they're not better when they're stale. Okay, so this is the Mimic. Um, and as predicted, the Mimic, uh, let's see, the color is pretty close on camera. It's a little bit lighter in real life than it's appearing on the on the video. But, um, but it's this beautiful, like, I'm about to try and describe color, so bless me in advance. Um, it's a beautiful, like, golden, brown, reddy, orangey sort of thing. Burnt umber? I don't know. Um, it's pretty. I like it. It's pretty. Um, so it does look in many ways like a proper cocktail. It's still, it's, um, it's pretty. It smells boozy. It's, um, you know, if you saw it on the counter, you might pick it up and drink it thinking it's a perfectly normal cocktail only to find out that it has giant teeth and will uh, rip your arm off. Uh, oh, <laughs> Ink dot Viking chick is is uh, uh, agreeing that it's amber colored. Yeah, I I I think amber is a good good description for this color. So now we get to the part where we have to ask, what kind of adventure would our heroes run into a drink like this in? And um, I wonder if if you're doing a dungeon crawl. And uh, it's growing on me. That's uh, a little disturbing. Uh, if you're doing a dungeon crawl and your party runs into like a, a um, an interdimensional puzzle, I think uh, it's going to be one of those rooms where there's like there's a fountain and a bunch of uh, decor that has to be explained. Only some of which is going to come into a into a play, but it all has to be there, so you don't know immediately which things to play with. Um, you know, one of those classic dungeons where there's there's a lot of detail and um, and uh, some some narrative has gotten lost along the way. So there's like mysteries to it that you get to infer after the fact. Uh, one of these like uh, uh, old school dungeons that's um, that's got a, a, like an inscription on the floor and maybe uh, maybe like a pool of uh, of uh, universal solvent and then some uh, I don't know some some other like goop that's gonna be lying around and you have to like figure out what um uh, what to do with this pool of goop because it's clearly there for a reason i think i think this is the cocktail you serve to your adventurers as they're figuring out what the pool of goop is for because um i'm gonna be honest with you i'm kind of into this pool of goop um again i i wouldn't have drunk this on purpose and i probably won't again but um it is growing on me, and I, I really do think there's potential between the Frenet and the Absinthe. So, friends, that is The Mimic, our first cocktail back after two weeks away. I hope that you enjoyed yourself, um, and I, yeah, I really appreciate you all being here. I appreciate everybody who watches live and everybody who watches after the fact. Uh, and I want to tell you that I am giving a lot of thought to how this channel is going to look in the future. Um, I know I say that with some frequency, and it's because I am constantly thinking about ways to improve the channel. Um, so I may be going to a model uh, starting in August where I do fewer live shows and more taped shows. Um, so in the chat or in the in the comments, because the chat goes away, in the comments on this video, or feel free to send me a message through the contact page at indecisionist.com. Uh, just let me know if you have any thoughts about that. If, um, if there's anything you'd like to see, if you have ideas that you would like to see me consider, um, or if you want to say, no, no, I desperately want you to keep this, the live streams, um, you know, let me know that too. I find that very uh, edifying. I'm, you know, I'm a narcissist just like anybody. Uh, so, all that being said, friends, thank you so much for joining me here once again for the Dungeon Barkeep. Links to things I'm plugging are in the doobly-doo. Nothing urgent is happening, so uh, you get a, a week without plugs.
drink adventurously. <laughs>